Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. So today we're gonna do this painting of my room and I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. So for this painting I decided I wanted to do a painting of the inside of my room and I haven't painted that many interiors in the past. Um, mostly if I'm painting the inside of a room, like oftentimes if I, if I paint something it'll be a still life or a portrait and I don't even include a background or the background will be something very basic like just a flat color. Um, so I was thinking it, it would be good to paint interiors and to practice painting interiors um, partially if I want to do larger paintings that have like multi-figure compositions um, I want to put them in a space and have like a, a room or something that makes sense um, but also just because I've been seeing other painters doing interiors in really beautiful and thoughtful ways and you know I, I like to re-examine the idea that a subject that I used to think was boring like an empty room could actually be really interesting and um, and have a lot of meaning um, so for me like in the past when I started painting oftentimes I thought oh if, if there's not a person in the painting or an animal or something that's alive then the painting seems kind of dead and so here I wanted to see if I could do a painting um, well and I guess I, I, I should say that when I was doing still life paintings I started to come away from this idea because I found that I was able to actually do very beautiful still life paintings that um, had a lot of meaning in the way that they they were able to convey an emotion through light and color so um, so I have been sort of learning how to do this more over time and and you know realizing that okay there doesn't have to be a person in the painting for the painting to be meaningful I can I can transmit this idea of meaning through other subjects um, and so so I thought it would be good to try to do that in the painting of an interior and in particular I was inspired by a few paintings by Susan Lichtman I just saw some of her work recently and she does these amazing beautiful interiors with um, oftentimes with people in them and I think it, it's mostly of her home um, and I really like the sense of light and like oftentimes it's like a sense of warmth that she captures in her interiors and then also I was looking at the work of Zoe Frank and she has some really beautiful um, paintings of interiors as well so um, inspired by those painters um, and also kind of wanting to go out of my comfort zone I decided to do this little painting and this is a painting of um, the, the room that so I'm I live in this big Victorian house um, with a bunch of roommates and this is a painting of my room and um, I just wanted to capture some of I wanted to capture this sense of like warmth and space and just kind of the cozy happy feelings that I have about this space so even though I'm not actually in the room um, I wanted to convey this warm feeling that I have um, towards the room and so this isn't a painting from life I took a picture so I'm painting from a, a photo reference I took um, but but yeah I so I took this picture of the room when I think it was around the afternoon and it, the room is south facing so I have this really warm direct sunlight coming in and it just bounces so nicely off of the wood floors in the room that it kind of casts this whole warm feeling across the entire room um, and so in this painting I set out to capture that warm glow of the wood on everything else um, and you can see here I've already I've already got a, a lot of the main colors laid in so you can see how there's this warm orange accent point where the light the direct sunlight is coming in through the windows um, and then the warm kind of dissipates out to the other parts of the room my room is actually mostly gray um, so here I wanted to give it a little bit of an even warmer feeling so I made it rather than gray I, I made a lot of the 
cooler parts of the room um, a little bit purple instead and then I also liked how the purple would serve as a color to contrast more with the orangey yellow um, in the main point of emphasis so yeah so with this painting I wanted to keep it fairly loose I didn't want to get too caught up in any of the details but focus more on the major shapes so you can see for things like um, like the plant in the background, I mostly just used like two colors for that plant, um, just a little bit for the shadow and a little bit of the highlight to suggest the major shapes of the plant. And um, most of the time I'm really just focusing on um, the sense of lighting and how to communicate that through the entire room. So here I'm going back in over that main highlight area, really trying to get that feeling of of direct bright sunlight coming in. It was also very cool because in addition to having the direct sunlight coming in through the windows, you also have the the blue reflected sunlight just of daylight coming in and that's here you can see I'm filling in some of that in the wood too. And I just think it's it's cool having those like multiple sources of light where you have this yeah, this very direct bright sunlight, but then you also have more of a diffuse blue cool daylight coming in and I thought the reflection of that on the wood floor was was really beautiful um, and I think I think in in this way it's almost as if the light is the subject in this painting it's definitely the main point of emphasis um, but it also kind of feels like the subject it, it almost has this like feeling of aliveness to it even though there's not actually a person in this painting. So yeah at this point I'm just filling in some extra details, um, putting in the chandelier in the room. This house is really crazy because like every room has a chandelier which I just think is is really funny but also very fun. Um, and yeah I think overall I'm really happy with how this painting turned out. Um, I it was not too hard and actually a lot more fun depicting this interior than I had imagined so um, yeah I definitely it was really exciting and um, I definitely want to paint more interiors in the future and hopefully the next one I can do I can have a few people inside as well so I can um, put a few of these things that I've been practicing together into a bigger composition so here's the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video today. Um, if you did, please consider subscribing or let me know in the comments below. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!